I've literally started every single vlog and ended every vlog here. <laughs> this just seems to be the spot. Hello everybody and welcome to day five. Day five. Day five of the reading rush. <laughs> so it is now Friday and we are getting down to the final days of the reading rush so I need to do some reading but first let's talk about the Taylor Swift album. <laughs> so last night I did end up staying up until midnight when the album dropped. Um, the music video for Cardigan also released at midnight. There was like a premiere on YouTube so I watched that and then I listened to the album. It's so magical. <laughs> I don't understand how every album she does. She does something different and everything sounds different but also still sounds her in a way, I don't know how to explain it, but it's so good. Just the storytelling within this album is insane. Um, I know that there's three songs that kind of are telling the different sides, I think, of like a love triangle, but I haven't figured out which three songs that is. And the last, Great American Dynasty, I think is about the owners. Rebecca is one of the owners of her Rhode Island house before Taylor Swift owned it. And I'm just like, there's so many so many things that people have connected in these songs already and I'm already overwhelmed but it's so good. I don't know if I can give my favorites yet. The one stood out to me, My Tears Ricochet, Mirrorball, August, This Is Me Trying, Invisible String, I'm literally listing them all, Betty was another one. Like they all stood out to me. They're all so good. I don't know how she creates such a good album every time. Every time. It's such like a cozy and magical uh, album and I can't wait to listen to it like in the fall time. It's just gonna be perfect. But yeah, I'm absolutely obsessed with it and I need to listen to it a million times more because I only listened to it once last night. But I guess I should probably talk about what you guys actually care about. That's the reading rush. <laughs> so last night before the music video and the album came out, I ended up listening to the Princess Diaries and I ended up finishing it. I was listening to it while I kind of wrapped up my vlog and uploaded it and captioned my video from the day before. So I got that done and I gave it three stars. It was cute, it was fun, some of the jokes were really funny, and obviously it had that nostalgic value because of the movie, but I wouldn't say it was like a masterpiece. But it also had a lot of things in there that would not fly today. That kind of just made me go, ooh, a choice. <laughs> but it was just cute and fun and it wasn't like a masterpiece, it wasn't the greatest thing I've ever read. Um, but it was fun, and I'm glad I read it. But now I just want to watch both of the movies, so... But it was okay. I gave it three stars, um, and I'm happy I read it because it was good. But it wasn't amazing, you know? And then The Princess and the Fangirl, I didn't end up reading anymore because Taylor Swift. So I'm still on page 179, but I'm thinking I could probably finish this today. I know my friend Sydney from Sid Bookworm is having, like, live reading sprints on her channel today, so I'm going to watch that because I, one, just want to support her and watch her live stream, but two, reading sprints would be a good thing for me, I think. <laughs> and then after this, all I have left is Love and Gelato, and then I have um, Paper Girls Volume 3, which is a graphic novel, and then I have the book club book. But again, not really prioritizing that, but I'm thinking this is going to work out for me. <laughs> so yeah, I'm going to go and get some coffee, because again, I'm starting the vlog before I've done anything else. My voice is all scratchy. I'm barely making any sense because I haven't had coffee yet, so I'm going to go and do that and probably read some more while I drink my coffee. over here we'll switch it up a little bit <laughs> so it is almost one o'clock I've just been listening to folklore because 
Of course I have. Like I said, I had only heard it like once all the way through last night when it came out, so I wanted to have another listen through. Um, but now I'm going to try and read and try not to just listen to the album all day. <laughs> so the book is actually on the bed behind the camera, but I'm planning on doing some reading before Sydney's live show because it's almost one o'clock. I think hers starts at two, so I would like to get some reading in before her live show, but then obviously I think she's doing like reading sprints in the live show, so that will be good. But I want to make some coffee also before the live show because I want more coffee. <laughs> probably of the iced variety, probably, mm, I don't know if I want like a coconut iced coffee, a caramelized coffee, maybe a caramelized latte. Not quite sure. We got a lot of options, but I definitely want more coffee, so that needs to happen. But yeah, that is my plan. I'm very excited for Sydney's live show. I think this is the first one she's ever done. Um, she also recently hit a thousand subscribers, so go and subscribe and check her out because she's wonderful. I think we also might be starting Love and Gelato today or tomorrow. I don't know. I'll see what she ends up reading during the live show and we can figure it out. But yeah, I'm excited for that, so yeah. That's it. I'm gonna go and make coffee and maybe actually read. Taylor Swift really ruining the reading rush for me. <laughs> why he likes to sleep on my lap like this, but it's okay. I don't mind. <laughs> so Sydney's live just ended. She did four 20 minute sprints, I think. And in that time I managed to get almost completely done with the book. I had like six pages left when the live finished. So I just finished those up. So I've completed my fifth book. Yes, my fifth book for the reading rush. So I obviously just finished it and I haven't really moved because I have a cat on my lap, <laughs> but I think I'm going to give it four stars maybe i mean here's the thing these books are not like they're just really fun and they're silly and they're cute and they're nerdy and they're just like it's not anything that you have to really think about it's not you know peak of literature the writing is good though like i don't know like it's not bad it's just a lot of fun like i could see these not being for everybody but if you're just like in the mood for a fluffy and nerdy like contemporary, these are it for you. <laughs> so yeah, I'm thinking in the um, four star range. So I'm gonna update my journal and Goodreads and the Reading Rush website, lots of things to update. <laughs> so yeah, that is my fifth book down, um, which is exciting. All I have left is Love and Gelato. And I think Sydney said in her live that this is the only book that she has left as well, other than she's reading Death Note, I think. And I also have this and another graphic novel for my TBR left, so I think we're going to start this tonight. It's the only book that we both have left, so I think we're going to start it tonight. And I'm excited. The font, I feel like there's a lot of space in between all of the words, and it's only like 300 and something pages. It's almost 400 pages, but I'm thinking that this is also going to go quickly. Like, I think I'd be able to finish it in the next few days. And then I also have Paper Girls Volume 3, and that'll take me like an hour to read, if that... Um, so I, I'm thinking this is gonna work out. I don't know why I'm doing this. <laughs> I might start listening to the audiobook for Such a Fun Age. I think they're doing a live show for the book club book tomorrow on Saturday. I mean, I'm definitely not gonna finish in time for the live show, but I think if I finish by the end of the reading rush, I will be very impressed with myself. So yeah, I might start listening to that as well, but I think I'm gonna message Sydney and see if she wants to start this. And then all I'll have left is Paper Girls, which I might read tonight 
as well. I don't know. We'll see how I'm feeling. But yeah, I'm really excited. I'm feeling very good about my TBR and I'm hoping that I can complete everything that I wanted to complete. So yes, that is my update for right now. I'm going to go and update all of the various things um, and message Sydney and see if she wants to start Lemon Gelato. But yeah, I'll probably check in a few more times before this vlog ends. <laughs> So I actually am currently um, importing all of the footage that I've had from today so far onto my laptop so I can like maybe start editing some of it. And I forgot that last night I did film me reacting to the album, the Folklore album. So here's a highlight reel of some of my reactions. <laughs> Yeah, I mean, if you don't know me as the crazy Taylor Swift person by now, now you do. <laughs> I just finished another book for the Reading Rush, my sixth book. I just finished Paper Girls Volume 3, so I'm going to put the badge for that prompt into my journal. I don't know how I feel about this series, to be honest with you. It's so strange. Like, I could not even begin to describe to you what it's about. There's time travel, there's weird creatures. I don't know. I don't understand, to be honest. But I feel like I understand enough to enjoy it. It's weird. I couldn't begin to describe it, like I said, but I also, like, can follow along enough when I'm reading it to enjoy it. But it's very strange, very weird. Um, I don't think it's for everybody. You're following a group of, like, 13-year-old girls. Um, and in that aspect, it actually reminds me a lot of Stranger Things. The first volume actually reminds me a lot of Stranger Things. So I really enjoy it, but at the same time, I don't really know what's going on. <laughs> but it's still good. Like, it's still fun. But I'm also confused, to be honest. I read Brian K. Vaughan's other graphic novel series, Saga, and I love that series. I don't know if I love Paper Girls as much, just because I feel like I don't know what's going on in Paper Girls, but it's still good. It's still enjoyable. Um, I think I might give it like four stars. But yeah, that is another book down. That's the sixth book down. So now I just need to start and finish Love and Gelato. I think I might start this tonight before I go to sleep. Um, because I told Sydney I was going to start this tonight and I just ended up not. Um, but I might still read a little bit before I go to sleep tonight after I finish editing this vlog. It's a relatively short audiobook. It's 10 hours long. So if I listen to it on double speed, I definitely could get it done this weekend. Um, but obviously this is kind of my main priority. So I'm going to, I think, start this uh, tonight. Oh, I will show you what my spread is currently looking like. So as you can see, I have six of the badges filled in which is very exciting it's so exciting seeing everything kind of fill in and i feel like it's making the spread look a bit more complete so all i have left is the one that takes place on a different continent which is love and gelato and then this is for the book club pick and i probably am still going to put this here if i finish love and gelato and i don't finish the book club pick because i technically completed the reading rush the book club pick i just tried to say that so many times the book club pick is like an optional thing like you do not have to do it at all so I'm not counting that as completing the reading rush, so obviously it would be a bonus if I could do that. But if not, and I still complete my seven book TBR, I'm saying I completed the reading rush. So yeah, that I think is going to wrap up this vlog. I'm going to get everything edited and uploaded and probably start listening to the audiobook for such a fun age and then also start Love and Gelato. Um, but I will check in with you guys again tomorrow. We only have two more days, two more vlogs to get through. I think tomorrow we're going to my aunt's pool. So Tomorrow might be a day where there's not a ton of reading until like later on at night. So that's why I kind of want to get a head start on Love and Gelato. But I'm definitely feeling optimistic about my TBR. <laughs> but that is going to complete day five of the reading rush. So thank you guys so much for watching and I will see you in tomorrow's vlog. Bye.